Welcome, everybody. Um, my name is Lee Burton. I am a self-esteem coach for women, and basically, I, the most recent joke about it is that I help women get their big girl panties on and move forward into their dreams. So, I really enjoy what I do. But my latest venture is with one of the most fantastic women I've ever met on the planet. The energy is incredible from Miss Claudia Harvey. So, Claudia, introduce yourself and let's start this whole thing. You're like my cheerleader, so you get the raw raw going, okay, honey? Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Claudia Harvey, and I am very privileged to be a partner with Lee on this wonderful venture. I am um, <laughs> a business coach, a entrepreneur, a mother of three, a busy woman, and when Lee introduced the concept of this wonderful retreat, to me with the theme of let it go i thought it is absolutely completely utterly appropriate to me and if it's appropriate to me it's appropriate to a lot of other extremely busy working moms wives sisters just anybody that really has to um get rid of small bad habits need to re-energize and where else was the better place to do it than the mayan riviera um which is we he's going to tell us all about uh, why how it's so important to this retreat absolutely and was i right you guys look at that cheerleader eh wasn't she well, she's like well i'm gonna buy you pom-poms <laughs> It's awesome. No, we were recently talking, Claudia. We've had an incredible response. People are already signing up and they're getting their forms ready and they're already starting. What do I pack? What do I pack? So this is going to be an informative uh, video about what to expect while you're there. Why should you be going? Uh, we have a list of common questions and we're going to answer those. And then if we want to open it up to anybody who has a question, we can do that too. But we've had an incredible response, haven't we, Claudia? It's amazing, just amazing. And the price is absolutely right for a five-day retreat down the Mine Riviera. All expenses included in the whole retreat, plus the workshops that we offer. It's um, and it's all inclusive. It's amazing. Just it is. It is. And um, one of the questions I've got to dive right into this part. One of the question is, will I ever get any free time? Well, Claudia and I personally have lots of free diving time included in our trip plan. So yes, there's lots of free time for everybody. But why, the most important question right off the get-go, I think, is why do I choose an all-inclusive resort and why do I choose the Mayan Riviera? And I can answer those two questions really easily. One is that I think a retreat when we go to make some sort of lasting change in our life has to be something realistic. It can't be like I'm all out for going to, you know, uh, an island somewhere and there's 10 people and everything's got to be brought in by a canoe. That's great, but that's not what it's like at home, you know. So what you're learning, you want to be able to learn it in, a, in a nor as close to a normal environment as you can. And the Mayan Riviera, the Mayans and the Aztec and the Toltec before them, my absolute favorite, we're one of the very first cultures that ever understood the concept of not being attached to something, to letting things go, allowing themselves to, you know, relish in the fruit of everything that they seeded, and, and allowing life to happen in a wonderful way. So it's, it's perfect. Like I, I was even asked one time, why don't we just go to Cuba or something like that? Well, I teach Toltec wisdom. The Toltec were never in Cuba, so we're going back to the Mayan Riviera, right? Right? <laughs> so that's why we, we choose the Mayan Riviera, and all my retreats are always there, but why is this place so special? There's something about the energy there, Claudia. It's amazing. It's, there are healers from all over the world that make incredible journeys to travel there, to bring people, even for themselves, to go through some healing. And, the shamans in the area are still traditionally ancient shaman style shamans and they're absolutely amazing. And the wisdom that these, this culture keeps cultivating over and over again in their generations and generations, it's, once you're there, it's easy to see why else, where else would we go, right? And we, and so we explain how, how that's incorporated into the tree, right? Why exactly are we gonna be there and we're not just sitting at the resort sipping Mai Tais or margaritas on the beach. We're actually experiencing that 
as Tech Talk Tech was, how are we going to do that? Well, we are. We're going to be doing a lot of work at, in group sessions at the, at the resort. And at the resort, we're going to be doing it in a modern day perspective of the ancient Toltec wisdom and how it applies to how we function as humans today. You know, uh, we didn't have hair straighteners 2,000 years ago and lipstick and, and the stressors that we have now, hockey teams, things like that. So how do we put that into a modern day perspective? And then to really, really solidify and cement the concept, we introduce you to the ancient Toltec and, and Mayan culture through their archaeology and some of the studies of their gods and what have you. So it's not like you're on some massive spiritual journey where you're going to be in the lotus position under a palm tree for five days. Although you can do that too if that's what you want to do. But it's a very practical modern day way to do it because I found in my experience when you're going on these retreats, it has to be functional so you can bring it home and utilize it when you get home. Right. Right? Yeah. Exactly. That's one of the most important things. So what exactly are you going to be bringing to, to all of this? I know, but why don't you explain? <laughs> well, after we get rid of the old bad habits, after we've released some of the things that we have to release, we've been there for three or four days and we've allowed ourselves to let it go. Let our bad habits go. We're in an environment that's safe and surrounded by like-minded women and men. And if men want to come, they're more than welcome to come. And we've, we've already released and, and our shoulders are relaxed. But now what, right? You know, we, we can release on general holidays, generally. You know, you go to a beach, you hear the ocean, you feel the waves, you feel the ocean breeze, and it's all, of course, it's lovely. And you're with friends and family, and that's wonderful. Why this retreat? Because once you've released it, and you think, well, these are the things that I have to let go. These are the bad habits that I have to get rid of. What then? Like, how do you fill that apple cart with new, fresh, ripe apples so that when you get back into the world that you have to function in, that you don't get sucked back into the old habits that are allowing you to stop yourself from uh, thriving and moving forward in whatever capacity you need to do? So either in business or personal life or family life or our family relationships or our personal relationships, we will identify what it is that is impeding you to move forward. And then I'm going to assist you with Lee's assistance to bring the goals, what you want out of life, who you really used to be and why that person needs to come back up to the forefront. And I, personally have gone through a lot of that journey myself in the last 10 years as I left the corporate world which no longer resonated with me and I became an entrepreneur and a business owner and I've entered new realms and opportunities that I finally remember I really enjoy that oh my goodness like that was part of who I used to be in my early 20s and I got away from that because usually a lot of us, we get sucked up into the world of money and family and commitments and obligations. And those things, of course, are part of our life. But how do we balance where we want to go with all of those obligations? And what can we get rid of that's absolutely not necessary and impeding us to be what we want to be? So it's rekindling that energy and that love of life and the love of who we were and are and solidifying it with new habits and new formulations and, and ways that we can introduce new concepts that might not have been introduced to you in the past. So when you get back, your feet are on the ground, you are rested, your shoulders are down and relaxed, you have a network of people that you can call upon because those people have already been in the environment, they've heard your stories, they support you, they love you, and you are not alone. So you come back totally grounded and be able to hit the ground running. Absolutely. And I got to tell you, to add to that, it, you know, we, we have these visions of what we want in our life. And a lot of the time, what we're missing, what we're missing out on is a real honest view of what are, what's potentially available to you because we're so cluttered with all these attachments and these things that we need to let go of. And we carry all that weight with us all of the time. And, you know, are you going to grab onto something again someday? Yeah, you want, you very likely will, you're human. But the point is that you're going to learn 
how to let that go. And the next time something comes up, you can let, you're able to let that go, and you will be able to let that go. I've never seen anybody who doesn't come on to one of these retreats or on one of the workshops that's related to one of these things that doesn't go, oh my God, oh my God. And you never get to go back. I mean, once you figure out the real concept of letting go and the, the truth about what our ego is and, and the truth about what we attach ourselves to and how to function in, in today's society and follow through with your dreams, you just never can look back. And I think, I think what's also really important is being able to identify what you can let go. And if those things are coming up in your life again and again, recognizing those patterns are the patterns that are destructive in our life and being able to identify that and move differently. Move, move, say to yourself, I've been here before. This is not going to happen again. You start making a conscious decision to move to a different path. And once you move to a different path, all kinds of other branch opportunities open up. We'll be able to identify as opportunities to walk through. So you're not repeating the same pattern again and again and again. No, I agree with you. And I like to call it my peripheral vision. Like I'm able to see more around me for opportunities and what to stay clear of even, right? I mean, we're not going to be living in la-la land any more than, than we are right at this moment. But that, re that brings up something. You wrote me a couple of questions, Claudia, about what, what do we want to answer on this video? And one of them was, why should you break those old habits and change it for the better? Well, because how about this for an answer? Because if, if it's really, really working for you, then what are you doing watching the video? Right. 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 And many of, us, many of us are so exhausted and so tired of the same routines, and they think that this is life. It doesn't have to be your life. And you're right. If you're listening to this, if you're enticed at all by the concept of letting it go, there's something niggling at the back of your mind that needs to come to the forefront that needs to join us on this beautiful retreat. Are we able to help you identify what those things are? Absolutely. And, you know, it's funny. I would like to say that there's an age group of women or men, for that matter, that are going through this experience. And it could, like, we have a, a lady on here that's coming with us, and she's, she's not of the same age group. She's a little bit younger. Don't like younger women that are that. No, just kidding. Um, she, you know, we get to this point where we're like, okay, something's missing. There has to be more to this, you know? Or it could be something like, I just don't understand. I work exactly the way I'm supposed to work, doing exactly what I'm supposed to do, and it's just not jiving. And I'm telling you, every single time, Claudia, it's amazing, you see me do it, somebody stands there and he goes, oh, wow, I never even would have imagined that. Like, yeah. it's actually something so simple and right in front of us that we just, you know, we're overlooking it because of all the things that we need to let go of. Right. right. Yeah. So what's included in, 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 in our journey? Well, the price, like we mentioned, is $16.95, and that is in Canadian dollars. Fabulous. Awesome. Considering oh, yeah. the dollar rate right now is $1.38 in American. So this vacation is in Canadian dollars. Absolutely. And thank you for pointing it out since I'm flying out to Phoenix tonight. Absolutely love you for that. Um, so everything you can think of um, when you get to Cancun, where, where you're flying into, you're you're going to be treated like a VIP rock star, like you're a part of the entourage that goes to Gene Simmons. And I do that for a reason, because I want you to be treated the way you're supposed to treat yourself. Right. You know, you're picked up in, in a private vehicle. You're taken to the resort. Everything you, the only thing you need to do for yourself is basically brush your teeth and, and, and chew your own food. Everything is provided for you. We go on excursions to Tulum. I believe we agreed on Tulum this time. And we're going to be going to some of the most beautiful nature uh, and natural resources of water that is available in the Mayan Riviera. I don't want to ruin the plans or anything, but everything is included all the way back to the airport and for $16.95. Excellent. And, and we have a little bit of shopping time if people want to come in for shopping because the shopping down there is wonderful. So we're heading into the town one of the afternoons after our workshops are over. So we're having a bit of R&R and, &R and um, margarita night and and uh, or not <laughs> you can have virgin margaritas if you'd like but a little bit of shopping a little bit of culture that way as well if you'd like to do that but each of the afternoons there is time to ourselves so if we want to reflect on the day we can 
or we can just go chill at the beach. Sure, we can go have some drinks. Well, we can, you know, meet up with some people that you've met in the group. Um, so it's very individualistic as well as group environment. And all of those excursions are included, correct? Absolutely. Everything is included. Once you get to Cancun, you're completely taken care of. That's all included in the 1695. So, and again, Canadian, uh, that's important to point out, especially to our Canadian friends. Um, I think, you know, we talked about the excursions that we're going to be doing and, you know, people again want to know if we're going to have any downtime. We're trying to make sure that all of our group gatherings are scheduled for the morning so that you have the afternoon to sit by the pool and you can participate in learning how to salsa dance if you want to, or you can go to the private VIP beach because you're there as a VIP, you get to go to your own private beach, have a cabana, um, you know, you have a concierge on the beach that's going to help you with anything that you need. Um, and you can just reflect on everything. Or, you know, we can arrange a driver for you to take you into town for that afternoon if you want. Whatever it might be. So there's plenty. It's amazing how rested you are even though you're going to get so much done and accomplish so much while you're there. It's an incredible five to five nights. And, um... Can you tell us a little bit about Michelle and our guest speaker and how she fits into the whole of it? Oh, how does she not fit into it? Michelle Leroy um, is a wonderful, wonderful woman and, and a coach for, for women as well and men. And she is going to be working with the group in an afternoon um, get together about how essential oils come into the play. And it's perfect because the Young Living essential oils are virtually, the, they are the oils that a lot of the shamans I find out in Mexico uh, are using to help people let it go. So, you know, being able to align yourself in a more natural perspective, be able to align yourself one with, with, you know, Mother Earth, as some might say. And, you know, I met Michelle through you, and you reintroduced me to essential oils. And I got to say, I'm wearing it, and I've got it on me all the time. I'm always, what is, what can I do with this, and what oil can I get? So it's another opportunity to really embrace some knowledge that will help you take what you learn home. Because, you know, you ask the question, why would somebody want to come on this retreat rather than just on a winter holiday because the winter holiday when you leave Cancun or wherever you're going to go you left it behind you know you're coming back to the same old stuff yeah you know and there may be nothing wrong with your life and your perspective but if I know anything about human beings I know that our life can always be better Mm -hmm. I, you know, I often come back from vacations and feeling so energized and you enter the workplace and, and your life and your work, the people around you and you're thinking for the very first day that you're back, why is everybody so stressed? It's all good, I'm happy. And then by the next day, you get where everybody's stressed again. So this time you're going to come back and you're going to go, Yep, most people are stressed. I'm not going to enter that space. So yeah. I'm going to make conscious decisions to choose which path I want to move into. So stay energized and reactivated and re-energized and uh, goal-oriented. We're going to talk a lot about goals and where we want to go in our life and how to reverse engineer how to get there. And, you know, it's funny, too. Like, if you're not just going to walk away and never hear from Claudia and I again. Um, I'm big on accountability. If you are going to make the commitment to make change to your life, and even though those commitments might change a little bit over time here and there, you have accountability partners that are going to be there with you throughout your journey. That we, Claudia and I, are both very strong supporters of people having success in their lives. And the only way that we can do that and fulfill our own destinies and our own journeys is to be that person that is right beside you doing it when you need us to be there. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you're never going to hear from us again. We are going to haunt you down and make sure you're having your wonderful life. Yeah. And you can, of course, call us at any time after, after the event. Absolutely. And um, need to have a little bit of a, a reactivation or whatnot. You're, you're, you're in our world. You're in our network. You're in our surroundings. So you, you're, after a vacation with us, you're part of us. You're part of the family. So it's going to be great. Really great. Really good. Yeah, and you know what they say, what happens in Mexico stays in Mexico, right? <laughs> Keep it in the group. Keep it in the group. No, it's all good. 
it's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to see what it's like to get on a plane and go somewhere and do it differently. Right. You know, and for me, I'm saying I do to do it right. I now set the, the goal, the intention that I'm going to clear something and let something go, even if I don't know what it is, every single time I get on a plane to go somewhere now. Right. And that is an amazing gift to give yourself. Amazing gift. Sounds wonderful. The only way to get into your new dream and your wonderful life is to step out of the old one. Mm -hmm. Right? So what do we have to do to do that, Lee? What's the very first thing that we have to do? Well, you need to go on either Claudia's website or my own, and I believe you have a banner at the top of your, your main page as well. Mm -hmm. You can check us on Facebook. We've always got postings going on or any one of the groups that we belong to, or you can contact us personally. Mm -hmm. And when I post this uh, video on Facebook or social media, I make sure that our contact information is there for you. There's a link to go to now. I know it's November 29th. For a few more days, I'm going to leave it up. You only need to make a $150 deposit. You know, after that day, it's going to be a $250 deposit. You know, and it's not like shopping at Amazon. You can connect with either Claudia or myself, and we will work out what it takes for you to make have a successful journey getting to the day that you go. So if that means that there's a payment plan or, you know, whatever the semantics are in your life that you feel may get in the way of you having this journey is exactly the reason that you need to go. Right. That's the exact reason. So Claudia and I will make that happen for you. So go on to our websites. If you want, register, um, go down to the register, make your deposit, and the system is set up for me to contact you personally right away. I've been doing that all week. It's been and, wonderful. And, and space is actually very limited because this is an exclusive retreat. This is an exclusive for people that want to step into their new space and into their new life. And we're not taking a lot of people with us. It's very, very exclusive. So we can work one-on-one -on -one with people and in small groups. So um, we're already having people signing up. So do not hesitate. Otherwise, the time will go by and you won't be able to come. So enjoy when you can and, and uh, go to LeeBurton.com or my website is on theverge.ca and join us on the beach. Come. Well, I got to say that it's time to check out because I've got to get myself off to the airport for another trip. But it's really, really great speaking with you, Claudia, and sharing this with everybody. I'm a fabulous, life-changing, amazing experience. I cannot wait be down at the beach. I cannot wait to dive one afternoon because both Lee and I are scuba divers. I cannot wait to go to Tulum, which is absolutely pristinely beautiful. I can't wait to have the Aztec Mayan enter my um, new experience because I've never experienced that before that Lee's going to do. And I cannot wait to, to be surrounded by amazing, wonderful women that will influence me and I will influence them for the rest of our lives. It'll be great. My life is already wonderful just because you came into it, my love. Ah, there you go. <laughs> we look forward to having everybody with us. All right. Well, I'm going to say goodbye, but you stay on, okay? And I'm going to say we'll see you guys at the airport.